I wanted to talk about Pepsi Blue. We've got Crystal Pepsi back, and I'm not going to say that it was just one man, that one man being L.A. Beast, but let's be honest. He was the driving force that brought Crystal Pepsi back. I know it's a soda, and you know I, I feel like I'd be making a big deal out, big deal out of it if, uh, you know, if I if I continued on with it. But I want to continue on with it. Uh, he did, and I don't have a million subscribers, and I don't have a million anything on any network. Um, but I do want Pepsi Blue back. I mean, we got Surge back, Coke. Brought Pepsi or Coke brought Surge back, and Surge was nostalgic for us '90s kids. Uh, you know it. It was it was great. And I think I don't know if Golden Eye came out. If it was around the same time when Surge was out, I can't remember. But you know, you'd sit and you would game mostly all night, and you would play and you would drink Surge. And it was just, it, it it brings back good memories. Like, you know, they say scent is one of the more powerful uh, memory triggers uh, out there. But I think taste can be too. Because uh, when I drink a, a, a pitch black, Mountain Dew pitch black, it takes me back to when I first discovered that. Um and I'm not some I'm not some fat kid who sits around and drinks sodas all day and doesn't work out. I exercise at least every day. I try to. And uh, sodas are just eh, they're they're an addiction. We all have our vices. <clears throat> but with Pepsi Blue though, I just I felt like it was it was underrated. Now we got Pepsi Fire, and that has that has actually came out before. There was a Pepsi Fire and Pepsi Ice. Now, a lot of people don't remember Pepsi Fire and Ice back when it came out. Um, I actually never got to try it, but I knew it was out. Uh, Pepsi Ice was mint-flavored Pepsi. And it doesn't sound great, but I still want to try it because I tr you know, I'll, I'll try any, any soda at least once. Uh, Anything usually with caffeine in it, even if it's like 40 milligrams, I'll try it. But like, I don't like drinking Sprite, and I don't like drinking Seven Up or, um, uh, what is it? It's a, it's another type of, like lime soda. I I don't like drinking that either, because there's no caffeine in it. I feel like it's like drinking a non-alcoholic beer. I want a little bit of kick in my soda. Um. But with Pepsi Blue, I really want I really want that brought back just for the nostalgic taste and the bottle. Like I'm gonna make the thumbnail for this video, um, the bottle, the Pepsi Blue bottle that was out, and it was it was just so cool. It was it was a, an awesome looking design. Like the design was fantastic. Um, but I, it, it amazes me that they brought Pepsi Fire back out. Of all soda flavors, cinnamon, and it, you know, it wasn't even Christmas when they brought it out. It was like summertime, I guess, because it was heat. Uh, but man, it it wasn't bad. It was just I, normally I can drink a soda <sighs> ten minutes. I'm drinking a Mountain Dew Pitch Black right now, and I, I'm halfway through it, and I've been drinking it for about six, five minutes. And I, like I said, I'm not a fat kid, but it sure sounds like it, doesn't it? Uh, but if we could try to get Pepsi Blue back, that'd be great. I'm going to L.A. Beast this as hard as I can. And uh, like I said, I don't have a million followers. So that's probably not going to get a lot. But yeah, let's try to get this nostalgic soda back. And let people who haven't had a chance to try it, try it. And hopefully keep it around. Because like I said, Pitch Black's back. And Live Wire is finally out and about. And it's not summer. It's year round. It used to come out during the summer, and now it's a year round, and it's awesome. So, I hope to see Pepsi Blue back in the shelves again for at least a limited time. That'd be fantastic. So, spread this if you get a chance. It'd be great.